speaking of the rotation, you reported on MassInSports.com the other day that the Orioles were remaining in contact with free agent starter Michael Waka, and that they'd also been in contact with the Marlins, who seemed to have a surplus of starting pitchers, about maybe working out a trade. Yeah, at this point, Waka seems to be the best option among the free agents. I don't know if there's really anybody else, and they've been engaged with him for a couple months now, and that continues. Not a true number one necessarily. That's why I think maybe camp might be that wide open competition at this point. It's like whoever does the best, because it's not John Means, he's not going to be ready for a while, June, maybe July. But I think that's the guy that they would look at free agency more than anything. And the Marlins seem to match up, but it's not guaranteed that they are looking to make a deal. There's a yeah. feeling in the industry, well, maybe they don't have to trade anybody and they're looking to contend. I say, how many stars can you possibly <laughs> carry? So I think there's a potential there. The Orioles seem comfortable dealing from their infield depth, not Gunnar Henderson, but like a Urias, a Mateo, if the right deal is made. Now, does that match up with a team like the Marlins or other teams that have shortstop needs as well? But the Orioles also would be quite happy, as I've written, having that balance of you know, Henderson as a left-hander, and you have Adam Frazier, then you have Urias, and you have Mateo from the right side and mixing and matching, and these guys can move around the infield. So it's not like they feel like we have to get, unload somebody here. Yeah. You know, they'll just go to camp with that crew, but it's like, go ahead and make them an offer. And, and you know, I, I think that the trade is the way you go to get a top of the rotation starter, a number two, maybe even a number three. Otherwise, you're either forcing somebody else in that spot or again, whoever has the best camp, your opening day starter, which is unusual. Usually yeah. we know as we're packing for Sarasota, who's number one, and this past year it was Means and Lyles as your number two, we may go to camp not knowing any of those five. It'll be an exciting announcement to see who it gets the opening day It'll start. It'll be fun to be like the Battle Royal. Exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly.